Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Alir Latifi and Kimbo Slice. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slaw! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Ilya, the Sledgehammer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, ready to go here for round one. This is a devastating knockout force of the highest order. Look at the highlight reel. Starting to compete with some of the best we've ever seen in the UFC. The majority of his recent wins have come by knockout. And that's why he's on the cusp of contention. Tonight in his highest profile spot to date, he'll try to register another KO and get on the mic and call out his shot. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Slice gets up, he is back on the feet here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumps. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alir Latif. 
tries to mix in a takedown here. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He's got him in the clinch once again. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at the whip action that comes from him doing that kick. Take him down, cuss, take him down. Kimbo slices, looking for an arm bar here. He's gonna attack arm bar here. And he's out. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Wow! Latifi goes for the control. Strong five minutes down. Let's check out some of the action, DC. Second round here. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice kick. Good sequence of kicks there by Kimbo Slice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but... Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Here's the kick blocked by Alir Latif. Nice straight punch. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Latifi gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just misses with the right. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kimbo Swan! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with the same height and some differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 262 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the cooler. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo! Slice! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC nine times out of 10. The next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. Oh, big elbow. That knee might have landed there. Plus right hand is true. And oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Crippling uppercut for him there. Oh, and he lands another punch there. Hopefully the stat guy will give him credit. Give him credit for the punch, even if it's not just a jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Throwing that jab, no good. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Harris, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. In the night. Kimbo Slice gets caught with that punch. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 
All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Oh, wow, oh! Then he's out. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Keep moving. Keep moving. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. 20 seconds left. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a huge round. Oh, Slice his head, kick his block, so no damage. Oh, this fight's gonna go. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high on the corner because he's going low. And now he's out of hurt very badly. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he... That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Okay, let's go. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Separate. Oh. oh, big diving punch is good. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got it back! Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Slice. All right, close guard now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Left hand punch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Hands up, hands well, a really, really good second round for him thus far after a summer first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big call for punch land. Oh. Holy smokes. Oh, big left. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no chance. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, well 
power play shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow oh. right now. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that oh. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 41 seconds of round number three. You ready? You ready? All right, ready to go for round one. And it's hard not to hook him back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time out. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. And they separate. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, single collar tie now. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. Whoa! What a fantastic... Whoa! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kimbo Slaw! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and 